Hey everybody, Motopolit59 here. I'm talking a little bit about police, about the cops. These people that are so reviled right now by the media and uh, Black Lives Matter. Uh, these police officers are not reviled by most Americans. The reason for that is simple. Most cops are good people. They're not out there to hurt anybody. They're just out there to do their job. Uh, I would not want to be a police officer. Uh, you couldn't pay me enough to be a cop. And, and cops are one of the most underpaid professions in the United States. These guys don't make jack compared to what they have to put up with and the way they have to risk their lives every day. And you have these people out there now, uh, Black Lives Matter and some of these other uh, groups that are all pissed off and pissing and moaning right now, uh, putting all the police officers in the United States in one basket because of the actions of a few. Uh, in 2018, which is the last year I could find uh, stats for, there were 686,665 full-time law enforcement officers in the United States. That doesn't count reserve uh, sheriff, res uh, backup, anything. That's just the full-time one. So I would imagine that there is probably close to three-quarters of a million law enforcement officers in the United States of America. And how many of them are out there killing anybody, let alone black people? It's a very, 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 almost an insignificant number. I, hey, I get it, and I agree. One person killed by a cop stepping across the line in any given situation, I don't care what color they are or anything, that, that, that is a tragedy. But it does not represent the behavior of the vast majority of American law enforcement officers. When it comes to uh, individual cops, I mean, you got to remember, these guys are just people like you and me. Uh, what's, you know, you got some guy out there that's uh, an executive and has a, a really good job and a beautiful wife and a nice house and respect in his community, loses temper and beats the shit out of his wife. Do you then cast every executive in the United States into that basket? No, you don't. And if you uh, have someone who's a well-known member of the community, he's done a lot of charity work, he or she, and uh, they're just upstanding citizens, and they uh, go out drinking one night and get into a wreck and uh, kill a mother and her baby. Do you then cast every upstanding citizen, every charitable citizen in America into that basket? Of course you don't. But when it comes to cops, these people don't seem to be able to make that differentiation. They don't seem to be able to understand that these are just people. Uh, and I don't have the answer. I would certainly have suggestions and getting rid of the police departments is certainly not one of them. Let's take a little more care in uh, who we hire as cops. Um, maybe look further into their past. Uh, but if you find out that somebody was pushed around and bullied in high school, that person probably doesn't need to be a cop. Uh, and if you can figure out that a person has any racist tendencies at all, he should, probably shouldn't be a cop. Uh, but I mean, that's it's so hard to do. I mean, hey, I'm just a guy that worked for the railroad. I, I, I don't know about uh, psychological evaluations and things like that, uh, or what you can and can't ask people in interviews. But when it comes to cops, I think we need to be very careful about who we hire. Uh, it doesn't matter what color they are doesn't matter what religion, doesn't matter, none of that matters. We just need to be careful. Uh, cops are just people like you and me. Uh, people say, oh, they should be held to a higher standard. Uh, you know what? We should all be held to a higher standard. Let's be real about that. You don't get a pass just because you work for the railroad or you work selling cars or something. You don't get a pass. Uh, if you're on welfare, whatever. You don't get a pass on your behavior just because you're a normal Joe. You should be held, we should all be held to a higher standard. And uh, police, just like me and you, uh, some of them are jerks, some of them are great people, but they're just people. They're prone to uh, fits of anger, they're prone to mood swings, and uh, they have problems in their lives just like everyone else. Cops are people too. 
Uh, they make mistakes too. They do stupid things. But uh, again, I don't think that what happened to George Floyd, I don't think that was a mistake. I don't think it was first degree murder, but I certainly don't think it was a mistake. The guy was subdued. You had him in cuffs. Get him up. Put him in the back of the car. Set him on a curb or something. Uh, there was no need for what happened. But uh, these people live in a high risk environment. Uh, when they're at work, they're at high. They're in high risk, and you'll a lot of cops say that 99% of their job is boring. But that 1% is more stressful and more life threatening than anything that anyone in any other profession other than possibly a firefighter or something is gonna go through in their entire life. Uh, and that, you know, I don't, you don't know when people are gonna make a bad decision because they're under that kind of stress. Uh, you and I don't get shot at. We don't get uh, attacked. And that happens to cops all the time. Uh, it's their job to try to keep the entire population safe not to just safeguard one or two people and uh when they they get into these uh high speed chases and chasing people down alleys and over fences and stuff uh i don't know if any of you've ever been in a fight but i have and when i get in a fight i don't even remember the because i have to be really really pissed to get in a fight and i never remember the things i said i don't remember Really, uh, the fight itself, I couldn't sit there and tell you blow by blow what happened, whether I won or lost. And uh, I'm sure these people are the same way. And then they have to try to remember this and, and make reports. And people say, oh, I don't, you know, I don't think that's the way it happened. I don't know, maybe it wasn't the way it happened, but maybe that's the way that person remembers it happening. Cops deserve a break, they really do. They do a lot for the communities. A lot of cops are very charitable people. Uh, they have wives, they have kids, they have husbands, uh, just like everybody else. They're not superhuman. Uh, there are a few who think they are, and those are the ones that cause problems. And if we can weed those out, let's weed them out. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Um, like a lot of people, I, I have questions and I have concerns. But my concerns aren't about most cops. Most cops are okay doing their job they're doing a tough job and i think we need to give them a break and stop lumping them all into one basket over the actions of a few let me know what you think in the comments below uh, like share subscribe click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content and we'll see you later uh, hopefully not in police custody